Joey the Joey Once upon a time, on the world's other side, lived two kangaroos about to have a child. Well, not a child, of course, but a little baby roo. A joey, to be precise, in case you never knew. As small as a cherry and just as sweet. A blind little joey without any feet. He crawled into the pouch as cute as can be to fill mum and dad with happiness and glee. A new kangaroo family, so happy to be three, but when it came to naming him, the pair could not agree. Dad liked Brad, Bert and Ben. Mum liked Carl, Kurt and Ken. The Roo parents could not make a decision. Naming their kid was becoming a mission. Hercules! beamed Dad. Now far too shall we. Oh, what shall we call our sweet little Joey? He is a sweet little Joey, agreed Dad. And Joey is a great name for the lad. But a Joey called Joey, can that be his name? Sure, why does it matter if they're both the same? Now, imagine if you had a pet. A little dog, you know, a puppy. But when it came to naming him, you called him Puppy. Or imagine that when you were born, your parents pride and joy. But if you're a girl, they call you girl. If not, they call you boy. Well, our Joey grew bigger and soon learnt to hop. But its attempts to make friends were a bit of a flop. He hopped to the outback in search of a mob. But he found introductions became quite a hard job. G'day there, mate. Can I join your mob? Sure, welcome along. We're Tim, Doug and Rob. That's Aaron and Isla. So what's your name, mate? I'm Joey, smiled Joey, as they continued to wait. Eh, uh, we're all Joeys, mate. But what's your name? My name is Joey, insisted our hero. But his attempt to make friends was coming up zero. A Joey called Joey? That cannot be. You're a Joey, not Joey, don't you see? But my name is Joey, so what can I do? I tell you what, mate, you're a kangaroo. Kangaroo? laughed the mob. That is so lit. Oh, mates, we've got to hashtag it. The cyber bully marsupials took out their cells so that all of their friends could tease him as well. So over the internet, word started to spread and the mobs all rejected him, choosing others instead. When the mob saw him coming, they all hopped a retreat. This Joey called Joey they did not want to meet. So Joey was banished to a life on his own. No one made friends with him, so he was always alone. He found a nice spot close to the water and lived all alone. No wife, son or daughter. He stayed there for years, eating leaves and grass, hoping for friendship but no mobs went past. With sunshine and water, the food was abundant. But with no one to share it with, it felt quite redundant. So Joey ate and he ate the whole day long. For as kangaroos age, they get very strong. So the older they get, the bigger they grow. Not like us humans and grandpa's hairy nose. Then came the day when the world started warming. The tree-chopping humans had not heeded the warning. The land heated up and water was bare, so many a creature migrated to there. The animals gathered in various groups, among them a thirsty kangaroo troop. Joey watched from the shade of a mangrove tree and thought, I doubt any of them will make friends with me. They were joined by another after a while, a sinister creature with a sinister smile. A big green menace came to the river to make everyone else quiver and shiver. The croc treated the river like his personal sink and ignored all those creatures in need of a drink. The thirsty animals could all but stare at this selfish beast who refused to share. For if any one came near, Croc would kick up a stink. Oh, what could they do? They needed to think. 
desperate to drink, a young roo left the pack, ignoring the risk of becoming afternoon snack. She hopped ever closer to the crocodile's lair as the rest of the animals whispered, Beware! The young roo could see that danger was near, but her thirst overcame all her ration and fear. The crocodile waited, his grin toothy and wide. Soon the young kangaroo would be inside his inside. His jaws were wide open, all ready to bite, when a loud sink <coughs> gave him a fright. The young roo hopped back and scrambled ashore, free from the crocodile's snapping jaws. She bounded over to the mangrove tree and beamed. Thanks so much for saving me. She rubbed his nose and smiled. I'm Chloe. Joey blushed red and replied, I'm Joey. Such a cute name because Joey's is small, but you're the biggest kangaroo of all. With renewed bravado, Chloe stormed back to the scene. It was time to tell Croc just how horrid he's been. You know what, old Croc? You're just the worst. Can't you see we're all dying of thirst? The crocodile smirked. I care not a jot. This river's all mine. I'll drink up the lot. Well, if you won't cheer, just listen here. I'll get my joey to box your ears. The crocodile grinned, then let out a guffaw. Peals of laughter shook his giggling jaws. <laughs> oh, somebody save me from this baby roo. I'm so scared. What shall I do? <laughs> He bellowed with laughter, making such a sound, until a huge shadow was cast on the ground. Croc took one look. He rubbed his eyes. This kangaroo baby was an incredible size. Croc stopped laughing and blinked up at Chloe. She winked back and smiled. It's time you met Joey. Croc raised his jaws. You're not a Joey. Joey raised his fist. Now... I am Joey. Now the thing about roos, in case you didn't know, is they love to box. Oh, the punches they throw. Croc snapped at Joey, teeth bared but missed. For our hero ducked, then swung a great fist. He bashed Crocodile right on the snout, landing a stunning reptile knockout. Oh, how that old croc flew out of the water and soared through the air way over the border. Chloe wed Joey and a child they soon had. A new Joey was born and they called him Jack. However, Jack is the name for an adult roo. A roo baby's a Joey, as we already knew. But this Jack is tiny and Joey is massive, which brings us to the end of this children's classic. The End.